Hi, I'm Richard Seitz, alongside Angel Green, and thanks for joining us on another edition of Iterations, a video blog from Allen Interactions. Last week, we had the opportunity to launch Iterations, and we talked about subject matter experts or subject matter enthusiasts, uh, and had a lot of good comments about the new format, and uh, we appreciate you commenting on that. This week, we're going to talk about something that's really current to us, because we just got back from Learning Solutions Conference. And we had an Allen Interactions booth and a Zebra Zaps booth there, and it gave us the opportunity to have a lot of good conversations with a lot of people that came by about e-learning, about SAM, um, about Zebra Zaps, and a host of other things. A lot of people came by and, and were talking to us about how they were using SAM and taking advantage of that, and uh, maybe how they can take advantage of SAM and start it when they're not doing it. What kind of comments did you get? Well, Ken Gregson and I from AutoNation mm -hmm went and did a presentation on how they use SAM to develop a really effective, really powerful e-learning course. And we had a couple of questions in the room, and it kind of ties back to what we talked about last week with our subject matter enthusiasts and subject matter experts, mm -hmm. and that's really, how does the SAM project start? How do you get everybody in a room together? What is this event called the Savvy Start? Yeah. And there was a little bit of hesitation about asking everybody to be in the room for two days. Yeah, that's and hard. And that was a big kind of question mark that was out there. Well, that commitment is always a challenge in the Savvy Start. But so what was your answer? So it was great because it was really Ken's answer. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the best testimonial there can be. But what we said was, if you get them in the room at the beginning, then you're going to take down some of the time that they might have to spend at the end. And again, if we tie that back to the subject matter experts and not having them be the end-all, be-all, right. but broadening that scope to the enthusiasts, you're more likely to be able to get them in the room right. because they have more time on their calendar. Or a lot more uh, people that would be available to come into the room. Right. You may have two subject matter experts, but you may have many, many, many enthusiasts. Right, right. And makes scheduling a lot easier. Yeah, and I know Ken had a, a little bit of a challenge, and some of the people that came up to us had a little bit of a challenge of saying, you know, this is very different from a traditional Addy approach, and we need to have a way in which we can explain that to our internal team right. as to how we're changing that. So. Right. Well, I had a lot of comments not so much from the subject matter expert side or enthusiast side. We'll just say SME from now on, <laughs> from that side. But from people that were saying, hey, we, we have a, a team that works on instructional design and we do e-learning development and we want to start using SAM. Mm -hmm. and, and how do we start doing that? And it's a really good question because it can be a challenge to you know, get a lot of people motivated to take advantage of an iterative, more agile process. Mm -hmm. And we got back to the same point, the savvy start. Even though this is the team and the team has to have a process that works through and takes advantage of it, it's got to begin with a savvy start because that's really where you take advantage of asking those questions, identifying those expectations, brainstorming those ideas and prototyping them. And if you can get the team started on that, then it's a lot easier to follow along through the rest of, you know, prototyping and design proof and alpha and beta and gold. Yeah. And all of the other things that go along with Sam. Yes. So it was really neat to have that conversation. And I had several of those conversations this week. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And last week we had lots of comments of people saying that they're moving to more of a Sam process right. and iterative process. And so the momentum is building and leaving out yeah. for Sam is just flying off the shelf. So that's a good thing. There are a lot of people referencing it this week. That's yeah. great. And certainly as an upcoming conferences, I hope they continue to do so. Yes. Yes, and we also had a number of people that came up and said, we're using Zebra's apps. Yep. And we had a lot of people that sat through demo. And our well, they were in the booth right next <laughs> to us. We had an Allen booth and a Zebra's apps booth side by side. And so we got the opportunity to talk to people about custom services. And then they got uh, the Zebra's apps team to do the demos. And there were so, so many demos that they had. I know. And our friends from Kaplan that have actually started to use Zebra's apps came over and got to meet the team that they've been working with to help them get their learning objects out there. So I know that they were excited to finally connect in person. Right. So it was a great week, a great couple of days. It felt like a week. It's a long time that Expo Hall. <laughs> but we had a great time talking to a lot of people, hopefully some of you watching this version of Iterations. And certainly leave us some comments. Uh, let us know what you'd like us to talk about. If there's some topics that you have, maybe beyond the Savvy Start, maybe about SAM, maybe about Zebra Zaps, we'd be glad to answer some of those too. And if you came by our booth and grabbed one of our cute little zebras, send us a twit pic. Show us what you're doing with your zebras and hashtag it Zebra Zaps, and we'll make sure that we keep in touch with our, all of our zebras around the country. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye-bye.